Hi, welcome once again to the Den of Doom. Today we're going to do some conditioning workouts in order to focus on your strong core that you're going to get your power from. Power is essential. You may have strong arms and legs, but if you're losing that transition of power through your core, then a lot of your training will be wasted. So what we want to do is a good solid foundation for the power for your limbs. We're going to start with 30 seconds of flutter kick. The way in which you do the flutter kick has got a variety of variations. You can start off with your back flat, your head on the floor, hands underneath your bottom and kick. Okay, make sure you're pushing through the lower back throughout or you can lift your head up, put your arms across your chest and kick or to take it one step further, arms behind your head get a good dish position and flutter. So we're going to do the flutter kick for 30 seconds. Just going to get the stopwatch ready so that we don't overshoot it. Okay, it's 15 seconds to start. Get yourselves ready. Into position. There's five, three, two, one, and off we go. So keep that lower back pushed in throughout, nice long legs, good streamlined position. 10, gone. <laughs> 10 left. Keep breathing and relax. Well done. <laughs> Next we're going to do the press ups. Press up progressions are as follows. You can do the box press up, three quarter press ups where you're pivoting off your thighs, or the full press up. Now we're going to keep our arms quite wide for this because we want to work across the chest. If your elbows are tucked in, it's more of a tricep presser. So we're going to do 10 of these. If you're ready, get in position. Three, two, one, off you go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. The next exercise is bird dog. With bird dog, again in that box position, and what we're going to do is tuck the tummy in so it's tight, back is nice and flat. Don't be tempted to let it drop, keep it flat throughout. In order to prevent the hip from tilting, what I want you to do is not be tempted to lift your leg too high. Okay, we're going to lift opposite arm and opposite leg. We're going to do 10 on each side. Going in three, two, one, off we go. Keeping hold of that core. And lift. Two, we'll keep that core tight. And lift. And three, and four, keep it smooth, and five, we're doing ten in total, keep that tummy in tight, six, head in line, seven, Takes about two seconds to lift, two seconds to lower. And eight, concentrate on that pelvis tilt. And nine. And ten. And the last one on the left. Keep that tummy in tight and relax. Well done. That was more about control than it was strength and power. Keeping 
that core engaged throughout. Okay. The next exercise is the high to low plank. Again, you can modify this, you can do a three quarter length plank or a full plank. So get yourself in position. So three quarter length plank is here and the full plank is here. Getting ready in three, two, one, off we go. So we're just focusing, keeping that back flat and lifting down onto our elbows. Keep it going. 30 seconds, that's all. Keep that back nice and flight. Keep that pelvis tucked in. And relax. Turn that off. Not too bad, well done. 